Hello. I'd like to show you technique to decompose a fabric using a rope dynamic and some tricks to make it completely procedural. First of all, we start by creating a procedural spline. Let's create a spline shape using formula. Need to create only one part of the knot. Create a copy with mouse spline in mode spline. Duplicate our mouse spline with cloner using mode linear. Shift our copies along the x-axis. Take care about your first and last point, they should coincide. Create a new cloner, put there a new null object. Display null shape as locator. Change mode to object and change distribution to vertex. Create tracer and put it into cloner with null object. Use mode connect all objects. I changed the tracer display color and hit the moss spline, but it's not necessary. Now we need to edit our source spline. Let's create a new connect and put in our tracer. Create another cloner in order to duplicate tracer to axis C. And also flip next one over copies to 180 degree. To avoid confusion, I recommend you name everything you have in the Object Manager. For visualization, let's put our splines into Sweep. Of course after you put it in Connect. Make our spline editable. To do this, push the C button or right mouse button plus make editable. Don't add too much points in our spline, because it will slow down your simulation. We can change smoothest of our spline by using subdivision surface on render. Edit spline without intersections. Pull out connect from sweep. We don't need sweep anymore. Delete him. Deformation along spline. Put our spline into new null object, for further work with spline wrap. Create helix, which we will use as a deformer. Create Spline Deformer, put it into Deform Group. Inside Spline Deformer, let's refer to Helix. Use Keep Length Mode, because it will help us avoid distorting the proportions. 
we get an absolutely procedural shape of splines. Now we can extend a length, just increase a value of cloner copies. Using banking, rotate our spline group as you like. Let's add a dynamic to our splines. Create a new connect for merging points, because we need a single geometry to add a dynamic. Group separately. Add to connect tag rope. Decrease our rope radius. In Project Manager, change a gravity value to zero. Create force gravity with directed up value. Let's add another force turbulence. Group our forces into null. Then we use the function mix animation in tag rope. Let's add to our connect the vertex map. Create a sweep and extrude him in our helix. Create instance object for helix and put it into sweep. For extrusion, we use a rectangular, so that the resulting sweep overlaps the entire spline geometry. Received sweep put into vertex map with mode volume. Put the vertex map into mix animation. Let's animate our sweep, just change end growth. As result we receive a gradual inclusion of rope dynamic. Let's correct our forces so that we like the result. There is a problem with the dynamics on points at the ends, this is due to the fact that they are not influenced by the vertex map. To solve this problem, you just need to slightly shift the spline group in the spline deformer, using from and to. If spline are contained into sweep, everything should be work. The next step is render with redshift. For display splines on render, let's add a new tag redshift object to our splines. In the curve tab, turn on the boxes mode. Enable redshift render view and create RS dome light. Let's change thickness in Redshift Object tag. To smooth the rope, we will use the tessellation mode. To avoid overloading your system, turn off your renderer. And after that decrease your subdivide value by reducing maximum subdivisions. Create RS material and add into our spline. All done, we received Agile system of splines, that you can change whatever you're like. Thanks for watching. 
I hope my technique was useful for you. Like, share if you want to support my beginning. Bye.